So I have my dog dad bod shirt on that I just love because I'm a huge animal advocate. Uh, we're talking about the Puppy Bowl. Everyone talks about the Super Bowl. I'm talking with the referee here, Dan Shackner. So tell us about this monumental 20th year. Yes, it is our biggest puppy bowl ever. We have 131 dogs repping 73 shelters across the country. They will hopefully all get adopted like in past years by the time the puppy bowl is done airing. We have special needs dogs, senior dogs. We have our biggest dog ever. It's Levi the Great Dane, a three-month-old Great Dane that's 72 pounds. And for balance, we have our smallest dog ever, Sweet Pea, at 1.7 pounds. Uh, we're spanning the range in this year's puppy bowl. Puppy cheerleaders, puppy coaches, Everywhere you look, you're going to see puppies in the control room. And uh, it's just going to be a big puppy fiesta, and we can't wait for you guys to tune in. And who is this little guy or girl with you right now? Yeah, this is Ancho from Rescue City here in New York City, uh, repping Team Rough in the orange. Team Rough is the underdog this year um, because they, you know, they lost uh, in a very tough battle last year to Team Fluff. So they're back for revenge, but uh, they're currently the underdog. We'll see what happens. Yeah, in 20 years, it's it's just wild that this, it's so big, it gets bigger every year. What keeps you coming back as the referee each year? Well, the fact that the rosters keep changing every year is probably what keeps me back because there's new surprises. Um, You know, it's not the same teams and the same faces. It's literally all new dogs every single year, plus our kitten halftime show, all new faces there too. And I love watching what these dogs can do. They can actually, you know, they've got athleticism. We've seen dogs kick field goals. We've seen dogs... Um, Ju uh, throw throw balls we you know as best as dog can throw but they've they've managed to do it we've seen dogs of course score touchdowns left and right and you know excessive celebration is something we're trying to curb but we also kind of encourage at the same time yeah and like you said all these new firsts we're not done with all the firsts this year there's a hall of fame you get your own assistant coach helping you call the plays what are these new firsts like for this for this year it's exciting, yeah. We're bringing back four players from past Puppy Bowls to induct them into the uh, Hall of Fame because, you know, there's some dogs that have scored multiple touchdowns. They've been the MVPs, most valuable pups, of course, but we haven't really celebrated them um, the way we should, so we're going to throw some light onto them this year, which I'm psyched for. And yes, I have my first ever assistant referee. Well, not my first ever. We've tried skunks in the past and sloths. Both of those were disasters because, I mean, the skunk, yeah, the black and white matched the stripes, but really not a good partner. And the sloth was just way too slow. Um, no offense. I know it's in their nature. So we thought a puppy this year to help me out on the ground. She does have a tendency to fetch the penalty flag every time I throw it. So we're going to have to work on that. But besides that, very accurate with the calls and super helpful to have another canine on the field helping me out. Yeah, so you can't be mad at the ref this time that you won't get all the flack. So it's... Right. It's cuteness overload, but this is all for such a great cause. What's it like to be that advocate for these dogs and these cats and kittens, puppies that need rescued and adopted from shelters? Every single one of them has a story uh, that will tug your heartstrings. Every single one of them is in need of forever home. They all have siblings for the most part. They have litters that, you know, that they're part of a litter, I should say. There's parents that are still in the shelters, moms, dads. Um, we're trying to just uh, let you guys know that, like, look, you're going to watch Puppy Bowl. You could fall in love with a dog. Go to PuppyBowl.com like we asked you to and find that dog in the shelter. And if, when you connect with that shelter, if you find out that they're already adopted, because that's what happens when it's a national TV show, uh, dogs go quickly, uh, chances are there's still a litter that that dog is a part of, so there's siblings still in the shelter that need help, um, or other similar dogs in the shelter. And the whole idea is to forge that relationship. Every single rescue that we work with, by the time Puppy Bowl's done airing, actually during and after, uh, reports a huge increase in adoption applications. And that's our goal here, and we hope we're making an impact uh, year after year. Absolute impact. We love to see these success stories. What's the process like of selecting the dogs from each shelter? That's a great question. Um, so we shoot this months in advance because it's a it is a huge production. It takes days and days to shoot. People think it's alive and that's adorable, but um, puppies are not. You know, there's a lot of other things that goes on, a lot of chaos that goes on when you're trying to film puppies. So you're trying to pick your best moments, and that's what the puppy bowl is. So we do shoot in advance. So really, the casting, quote unquote, for this, I should say, the draft for this starts in the summertime. Um, and the way we do that is we ask the rescue criteria for puppy bowl, which is just, you know, three to four months of age. We have them take a picture of the dog next to a soda can, 12 inch soda can, 12 ounce soda can, and we have them send that in. 
And then, of course, we look at that. That gives us a gauge as to, you know, how big or small they are. First quarter is the smaller breeds. You're going to see your baby chihuahuas, you know, your baby cocker spaniels. And then by the fourth quarter, we get to those larger breeds, baby Great Danes, baby German Shepherds, which are babies but still large. So we don't mix them, but at least it allows us to, again, show a wide range of animals each and every year. For sure. And there's more ways to watch than ever this year. What, what streaming services, what TV stations, where can people watch the Puppy Bowl? Yeah, I'm starting to lose count. We're on uh, True TV as Animal Planet. We're on Discovery. We're on TBS. Uh, we are also streaming on Max and on Discovery Plus. Yeah, Dan said it there. All for a great cause. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out the Puppy Bowl before the Super Bowl on Sunday, February 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thanks a lot.